Hello everyone, I'm Rob the Mod, and this is part 86 of Gran Turismo 6 on the PlayStation 3. And uh, in this one we'll be doing the mission races for the Super Class. Uh, i tell you what, I added up everything that, uh, that we're doing. So all of this, all of this, and then the additional stuff like the, the Red Bull Challenge and all that. We're going to have 101 episodes, and obviously we may actually technically have 103 if I do those two uh, events that... I already did, but I, I probably won't do them. Um, they actually, if I did do them, they'd probably be like unlisted videos. They'd be just be in the, uh, or they'd be like a bonus video, basically, at the end of the series. They won't probably have a part number. Anyway, we're going to do the mission races, like I said. Uh, so, we got five mission races to do. And basically... Overtake both opponents, yeah, okay. Well, we don't actually have to do that. We literally, all we have to do when you do the mission races is, is you have to beat the time. It's like, make sure you beat the two opponents. Like, no. You don't have to. You just won't get gold if you don't do it. So basically, we've got 48, uh, 49 seconds, I should say, to do this. Come on. Let's start game. Come on. Let's go, go, go. Three, two, one. Yep. Yeah. Alright. And obviously we can't hit the uh, the AI on this one. Because it will... Uh, actually, we can lightly tap them apparently. But actually hitting them would uh, disqualify us. That's how it's been on previous ones. I tell you what, 49 seconds is a long time, but depends how long the actual event is, doesn't it, really? I mean, we're already 30 seconds in, basically. And I don't think we're near the finish line. So this actually might be something. Well, it might be a little bit challenging. Oh, here we go. It's right here. Okay. Alright, we've got bronze then. We were almost close to gold, but we did not. Okay, and then apparently I don't know what happened there at the end, but something happened. Right, got... There we go. Right, we're going to move on to the next... Event. You may hear my uh, my phone going in the background. I'm just getting rid of the notifications because I just turned it on. Right there we go. It's off now. Should uh, shouldn't. I mean, it might make some notifications for like the uh, what's it called the that like uh, I, I think it takes a bit for like the uh, the email notifications to come through. Anyway. Uh, this is a Citroen GT, or the GT by, the GT by Citroen. Um, yeah, again, overtake both cars, right. I didn't see how long we got to do this. But we're on special stage, Route 5. We got, we're basically just, a, we've got a minute. This car isn't that slow, is it? The fun fact about this is that this car is actually in uh, the Crew 2, to my understanding. It's missing all the Gran Turismo branding, but supposedly it is in that game. I'll have to look up a YouTube video of that, but um, I should also move my microphone a bit closer. That's probably a better idea. Um, don't know why I move, uh, because it's sort of in the way of my mouse when I'm going to... That's why I moved it. Right. Oh, this is the track that we did the stupid drift challenge thing on in the coffee break last time. That was fun. Why was I racing a Dodge Challenger? That doesn't seem like it would be that much of an issue to overtake it. Oh god, I'll hit the brakes here. Well, I didn't have to. Oh, okay. I thought we went up there. I guess this is a different version of the course or something. 
Okay, I thought we went up that other bit of the track. Oh, we're right behind a Ford GT that I don't think we're gonna get past. Yeah, I do not recognize this section of the track. We've got silver. Oh no, I kind of recognize it now that I look at it. I'm like, I'm maybe I think I might have raced it in like a, an online, not online multiplayer. I don't think I ever played Grand Theft Auto 6 online. But I have played it two player locally. With someone that came over. That was uh, that was an experience. I think that's kind of... Did I mention that? I think that was what got me into... Uh, back into this game. Um, let's do this then. Uh, what is this? Okay. Oh, we're doing it in rally stuff? Okay. Uh, it's been a very long time since we've done rally stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, that's, I don't know if I mentioned it, that's sort of what got me back into Gran Turismo, is the fact that, uh, obviously I hacked my PS3 and then a friend came over and I was like, well, you know, I'm going to, um, you know, I had the PS3 out, they were like, oh, that's, why have you got the PS3 out? I was like, I just hacked it, I was like, you want to, um, do you want to play a game? And I'm like, yeah, I'll play, and then obviously they look through the list of games, and they're like, oh yeah, I'll play Gran Turismo, and then I played Gran Turismo. And, and that was it. And I was like, you know, I might actually, you know, bring this back as a series on the channel. This is taking forever to load. I got through that entire story with uh, that amount of time. It's still loading. I can't, well, I was gonna say I can't hear the PlayStation 3, but that's because it's running off the hard drive and not the actual disc. I was like, oh, no, it's not done yet. Okay, <laughs> there we go. That took forever. <laughs> Tell you what, Gran Turismo 7 SSD, amazing. I've mentioned that before, but yeah. Actually, that's a thing that, I, instead of ordering the headset, I actually ordered an SSD, and an additional one for the PS5. Um, weird delivery by Amazon. It hasn't come yet. Oh, God, I meant the wall. Um, yeah, weird delivery thing from Amazon. Because uh, I don't order enough stuff from Amazon to make Prime worth it. So I don't pay for it. I'm okay with, like, free delivery. I mean, when Amazon's like, oh, do you want f a free month of Prime? I'm like, okay, fine. But, like, normally I'm like, I'm not really that bothered about Prime that I don't. And people will be like, you don't watch Prime video or anything? No. Oh, for God's sake. That was them hitting me. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I ordered this, this SSD. It's like, oh, this will arrive in a week's time. That's kind of annoying, uh, but then it got dispatched that day. Now, previously when I've ordered stuff from Amazon before, and they've been like, said stuff like that, um, it's come like a day or like two days later, it's come way before the delivery date. So we'll see what happens this time. But uh, yeah, that's just sort of annoying when the Amazon delivery date is like, oh, we've already shipped the item out. Um, you know, but it's still gonna take, you know, a week to deliver. It's like, thanks Amazon. By the way, if you wanna know what um, SSD I ordered, it was literally just like a 500 gig uh, Crucial. It's a, P, it's a P3, so it's not the fastest one that they do, but um, I was just like, it, it was the sort of thing where I was like, well, I need another one. I don't want it to really hit this Subaru. Come on, get out of the way. That was lucky because I almost failed that because of the Subaru slowing down. As it was going around that corner, I couldn't get past it. It's like, that was annoying. Anyway, yeah, so, so I have that SSD. 
um, ready, well not yet obviously, but ready to install in the PS5. That'll be a... Okay, so, I mean it's not really that difficult to install. I've watched the Linus Tech Tips video on how to do it. Literally you take the bottom off, it's one screw, you do it that way, or two screws technically, and then you screw it back in and it's done. Um, we'll see how it is. Uh, we're on to the fourth race now. I'll tell you what, when I render these, this is going to be awkward as hell. Because uh, I render these along with the... Um, The, the old videos because the, the issue with the old videos is um, and people will be like oh, you know why do you re-render the old videos well one reason is I removed the uh, the insane gamers intro at the start and uh, the outro at the end because obviously the channel is not the insane gamers so what's the point in doing the re-uploads and putting insane gamers stuff in because uh, I don't have the uh, the intro for I don't have an intro for Rob the Mod um I have that little animation, but I don't use it as an intro because I don't really see the point. Um, we're all in the leases, come on. I've got 45 seconds to get around this. Where's the finish line? Is it around the inter- no it's not. Is this it? This is a line to- Tell me I've done where's the finish line? Oh it's right up here. Okay, so I will actually make this. Thankfully, but yeah, again, very close. But uh yeah, so I, I, I removed the intro and the, the outro. The the other reason is that uh and people will be like, Oh you When I record those originally they were only in um seven twenty P because that was the maximum well I mean technically the HD PVR supported ten eighty I. Uh but yeah, I, I uh, there were component there was 720p and um, back in the day on YouTube when those were uploaded that was a uh, that was enough for YouTube to be like yep yeah, that's still HD it now if you upload something in 720p YouTube won't even count it as HD you have to upload in 1080p to uh, to do that and there's a lot of things where people are like, well, you even if you record in uh, 1080p, you should render in uh, 4K because when you upload it in 4K, even if it's not actually um, 4K, YouTube will actually give you, you know, better uh, better video codecs. Right, um, obviously there was an edit point there, and that's because I've had to restart this three times now. The first two times were I collided with the car, which is kind of dumb that that happened because it was just like... The, the thing is with this is it's a full lap of Nürburgring, and yeah, I kind of wish barrier collisions weren't a thing, because I was doing so well on the first one, and then I had to like late break for a corner because it was right, the car was right up my ass. Because obviously when you're in the same car, it's kind of difficult. Um, and because I had to late break, I couldn't turn the corner because this is a Ford GT and it's it can't turn. Just like the Aventador couldn't on the... Um, in that one make race, that was... That's why that entire commentary was done after the fact. I was like... I mean, I tried recording with commentary, just the event and all stuff, and it just did not work. Right, I need to get on this side to get past him. There we go, see, now I'm... See, I can lightly tap them like that, and it's like the game's like, oh, this not, that's not a collision. It's fine. Um, it's if you proper slam into him. But look, he's trying to get past me again. That doesn't help as well that they, you know, start, but, I mean, I know it's only three seconds, but the fact that they start ahead of you is kind of annoying. Like, if we started equal, that'd be better. But obviously this game came out in 2013, so obviously that's never going to be changed now, is it? Um, 
and even so I would never get that update because when you have a hacked PS3 you never want to take it online because uh, obviously Sony would ban the account right yes he's right behind me I can't remember where the uh, the corner was as well the, what doesn't help as well is it makes it um, it's doing the the time thing where it's going dark now so your brain's trying to get used to it anyway I think I was mentioning about like 4k and stuff um, and like YouTube video quality and all that and what what I meant by all that is that uh, basically the PS5 stuff is kind of awkward because um, it outputs to my HDMI switch which supports 4k but it only supports it in one input which kind of defeats the point of a switch but at least that's one input that you know supports 4k so that's what it's plugged into um, so that's alright uh, and then obviously the switch goes to my Elgato because that's why the switch exists um, unfortunately the Elgato can pass through 4k footage it can't record 4k footage so it, it does it at 1080p which is obviously annoying um, but yeah it passes through the footage and it goes to 4k on my monitor so when I render the stuff in 4k from the PS5 uh, at the moment it's not actually um, technically 4k I mean I'm seeing the footage in 4k the footage isn't captured in 4k but it's also good for YouTube anyway because like I said um, I mean I could render this in 4k and you would have excellent like picture quality um, it was this corner that I hit the barrier on as well. Um, yeah, the, the thing is with YouTube and 4K is that, like, the tip is like, oh, even if you're only recording at uh, 1080p, uh, output it, like, render it at 4K because they'll give you, uh, YouTube will give you better quality. Really? You're hitting me, man. Like, why is the AI allowed to do that? Like, I mean, I know we were only scraping each other, but if I got, like, a car collision on that, that would have been absolutely ridiculous. Like, they're allowed to, like, hit you, and I guarantee if I did that sometimes, they would not... Like... I mean, I know I've got away with it before, but I, I feel like it's just arbitrary. Also, I don't quite understand, like... How is the AI, like... I mean, I know this is super class stuff, but you've been seeing how I've been doing. I've been lapping it. Lapping them and stuff. It's the sort of thing where you, like... Oh, God, I... That was weirdly, um... Vibratory on on that. Uh, I don't know how to describe that. That was, that, that was very weird. Like, I... When I drove the, uh... When I drove the Nissan GTR in the uh, in the in the one make race, um, well, obviously we had a Nurburgring lap on that, and that that was weird because as I was driving along, the controller was like basically constantly vibrating, but as I went around that bit there, um, it did not vibrate at all. And I know this is an old Ford GT, so that might have something to do with it, but that was very, like, oh god. Um, yeah, I, I felt like I was losing the car then. I love how this is, like, supposedly bronze for nine minutes. We'll see how I get on. I don't think I have to beat the car, but it kind of helps. Actually, I might... Well, it depends. Actually, it depends, doesn't it? Because if this is the long version of Nürburgring, where you've got, like, the entire GT circuit, then that's fair enough. Um, but if this is just the... Actually, that's, that's going to be a thing, isn't it? Because we're going to do the, um, what's it, the Nürburgring 24-minute challenge. How many laps is that? Is that literally just like three laps of Nürburgring? Because if that's just three laps of Nürburgring, I'm completely fine with that. Like... Yeah, 
No, it's probably going to be four, isn't it? Now that I think about it. It depends what car we're in, really, doesn't it? Like, can I actually not go off the track on this like last corner? That'd be. Well, I mean, this technically isn't the last corner for the lap. I don't know where the lap start end is on Nurburgring. Because, I mean, I would assume that here on Gran Turismo they've got it correct. Um, but I don't know. Because in Forza, it's here. It's on this straight. Um, no, you're not getting past. You ain't getting past in your Ford GT. I know, I mean, I know we're in the same car, but you ain't getting past. It means I have to late break again. It was the same thing with the bloody, uh, what was it, with the GTR. It got right up me. I was like, no. Right, okay, we don't have to do the long course. That's good. So we might actually get silver here. We didn't get gold, annoyingly. But we might get silver. There we go, as long as they don't overtake me. Uh... Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, we've got silver. I'm okay with that. I don't know how you could get bronze on that, but yeah, I mean, thank God I actually did that. Yep, I'll take the 14 grand for that. Um, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to the Nürburgring one, but that's like... That's four episodes from now, so I'm going to have to get used to it. I mean, that's assuming that I do the super coffee break challenge. Because that's about, that's going to be the one that's uh, before that. But yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, I've been Rob the Mod. Uh, next time, we're going to move on to the Suzuka Circuit 10 lap challenge. And uh, yeah, there's an Nürburgring one. But we only need 10 stars to uh, to unlock the coffee break challenge. So we'll, we'll earn that from that. That's why that's in between. Assuming I win, obviously, but... Yeah, anyway, so I've been Rafa Mod. Thank you very much for watching part 86 of Grand Turismo 6 on the PlayStation 3, and I will see you next time for more. Ta-ra!